Hello and welcome to Autoinform Tool Supplement. My name is Frank Massey and these short clips are intended to introduce some of the tools we rely on when testing complex and potentially difficult to interpret problems with vehicle maintenance and repair. Common rail injection now is not new. One of the most critical aspects of common rail is to ensure the mechanical functionality of the injector is correct. One of the key and critical tests in achieving that is the back leakage. And the back leakage, quite literally, is the amount of fuel escaping from the top of the injector when the solenoid is both closed and actuated, because there is leakage in both instances. It's absolutely critical that the amount of leakage is both correct and balanced across all injectors because should the leakage here be excessive or out of balance it will affect fuel timing and quantity fuel delivered that's a critical test it's a very simple test whereby we collect the amount of fuel discharged from the injector into these beakers and evaluate them um, whilst the engine is, is through a, a number of performances either at idle full throttle. So it's important that we actually test the back leakage performance across the entire pressure range. Most common rail diesels perform between say 300 bar at idle to around 1600 bar on full load. Connecting these pipes is both safe and simple. Using the appropriate adapter, and of course you have different adapters for different injector manufacturers, and then simply connecting the pipe to the adapter crank, start and or run the engine, allow the discharge of fuel to accumulate in each of the measuring devices and then compare them for both volume and balance across the entire number of injectors in the engine. And it really is that simple. Once you've established that the back leakage then is incorrect, you then are on very safe grounds to remove the injectors for a further full bench evaluation.